hey 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 y'all and welcome back to my channel if you are returning if you are new welcome so this is going to be a rundown of how my engagement party went it actually turned into an entire weekend thing the party was on saturday but um on friday night since we had family coming in on friday um we decided to do a fish fry so the hotel we was at it was the hyatt house in atlanta they have like a little side patio area and they have an area in the back um, which is close to the pool. So that's where we were. I brought my um, deep fryer. Yes, I am that person. But uh, <laughs> I brought my deep fryer. So we fry fish. Um, we have fish, baked beans. My fiance, he's originally from Indiana. So they like spaghetti with their fish. So my aunt also made spaghetti. So we just hung out in the back. We drank, we danced, we ate. The kids got in the pool and that was awesome. So I'm going to insert... Um, a little clip from uh, Friday so you guys can see how that went. David and his mama, and there's Amari and his Aunt Kim, and there's Lila's mommy, and there's Corey. Friday night and it was amazing so let's move on to Saturday um so I rented out one of the conference rooms um at the hotel it was supposed to be able to accommodate um 50 people but it definitely did not well we made it work but by the time I realized it wasn't set up the right way you know the sales manager was gone so we had to work with whatever we had so I didn't get a lot of video footage or pictures so I'm just trying to piece together what I have so the next few clips is going to be like a before picture and I actually um started the video we had already started putting tablecloths and stuff on before I realized I didn't get any before footage so I'm going to insert the before and then I'm going to insert like pictures or videos of like the different tables um I'm, I'm gonna insert i do have a little video of one of the games that we did so i'm gonna insert uh as much footage as i can after this so this is the before footage um this is all i was able to get like i said we had already started put in the tablecloths the chair covers and the sashes on um, that's my aunt over there she's always dancing um, so this linen, I'm pretty sure I got it from uh, either CV, CVS Linens or Tablecloth Factory. I've had it for a while now, so I can't remember exactly where I got it from. So this is just us trying to get the room all together. An acrylic sign I placed outside the door, so guests would know what room we were in. Um, I actually had a tripod to put it on, but it broke, so I ran to Hobby Lobby and got this, which I like this set up better. The little pedestal was like $18. Then I got the mirror and the small easel, and then I just um, placed the acrylic sign on that. I have a video up of how I made that, I will link it in the description below. So, this is the only video that I had of the after, and that's my back drop area right there um this is um my head table um so <laughs> we were like halfway through the party when i realized we didn't even have sashes on those chairs <laughs> but that's neither here nor there 
um and i forgot to bring our toast our wine glasses that i made for us so one of my friends had got this for our wedding gift so she was like here use these i didn't want to use them so we just put them up there for you know just for decoration but we definitely did not use them um and right here is my thank you gifts so um and i have more gifts right there on that one that was the gifts that i have for the prizes for the games but i had wax melts thank you gifts um this is my food area that's the menu that i made i made that using my glow forge that tall vase in the back with that red um sash around it or table runner around it that was not part of my decor that was already there so i just wrapped that around it to make it blend in but that's what my food area looked like um before we added all the food so here's a few of my tables well this is all the tables shall i say so um one thing i realized when i was doing this video is that i forgot to get plates so <laughs> After I did this video, I did run to um, Hobby Lobby to grab some black and red um, plastic plates. So that's what I use. I just rotated um, one black, one red, you know. So um, I made some of the centerpieces. I purchased some. They came from different places. Like on this table, for instance, the two tall candle holders came from family. I mean, Dollar General. The little ring, the three-piece ring set, that came from Oriental Trading. That vase right there came from uh, Ife Vermar, and those flowers came from Michael's. Um, that's the table where we had all our, our drinks and things. Um, and then this table right here. So that centerpiece actually came from Ross. I got two of those, and they were like $20 each. And they were so freaking cute. So here's a better view of one of my tables. So those tall, those two tall candle holders, they came from Dollar General. I just got like some little bling, the little scattered gems or jewels, whatever they're called, in there, and a red tea like candle that I got from Dollar Tree. The little scattered jewels that's on the table, those came from Hobby Lobby. The glasses are Dollar Tree glasses. They're the 16 ounce. The chargers came from Dollar Tree as well. And that love sign that's in the middle, it was initially gold. I got it from Dollar General. It was initially gold. I spray painted it red and then I added the black bling around it. So here's the final look on one of my tables where I added the plates. Um, I also added a fork. So when I went to Hobby Lobby, because I was rushing and I had forgot. So when I got the, the flatware, I grabbed one pack that had the fork, spoons, and knives, and then um, I grabbed like four packs of just plain forks. So I only put forks at the um, at the uh, table or whatever, but those are placed in the forks I got. This extra centerpiece, the tall vase came from E. Favor Mart. I put the red jewels I got from uh, Dollar Tree, put those down in the vase, and those flowers came from Michael's. And the two candles on the side, they came from Dollar Tree. They're actually like the wedding candles. And I think I got those little candle holders from um, TJ Maxx. So here's a close-up view of my head table. Um, <laughs> of course, we were eating or had just finished eating or whatever. So the congratulations sign came from Dollar Tree. So on the end of the table, you can't see here, but I have two... Uh, I have... A red and a white LED candle on both sides and I have a small tea light candle holder with some scattered jewels in it and that's what's holding the sign up onto the table Um, that letter L I actually got that from Michaels it was part of their Easter section it was like 90% off when I got it so I just spray painted it silver and added some glitter and that tall centerpiece right there in the middle I actually made that um it was definitely my labor of love so down at the bottom, you can't really see, but we have um, the gifts that people gave us. I wasn't expecting gifts, but I was definitely thankful for them. So here is the gift area. Um, again, I got wax melts for the thank you gifts. And the colorful bags down in front, those are um, gifts for uh, prizes. You know, if we had games and stuff like that. My mom actually sells Avon, so all that is um, Avon in there. So if y'all need some Avon, I let my mama. So here's a close-up of my drink station. Um, so I just used one red tablecloth, one black um, sequin tablecloth. Those tablecloths came from E-Favor Mart. The candle holder there in the middle came from Hobby Lobby. It was like a rustic um, color. 
So I just spray painted silver. Those candles are LED candles because at this particular place, we could not use real candles. So those LED candles came from Dollar Tree. Um, I have my drink containers there and I end up putting tea in one, lemonade in one. Um, I also had Gatorade and bottled water as well as um, adult drinks and juices for kids. Um, and that bucket in the back, that was our ice bucket. And of course, we had the cups there. And I also put black cups there and um, shot glasses. All right, so this is the acrylic menu sign. I actually made this with my Glowforge. Um, and I just had it at the beginning of the food table. So this is the stuff that we had on the menu. We end up not having a garden salad, but we, we had so much more stuff than this as well. But um, <laughs> again, this is a menu sign. I made this with my Glowforge. So this is a clip of the food area. This was not the final um look of it because we still had a lot more stuff to add so we had to move some stuff around it was kind of crowded a little bit because we had so much stuff and right here on the end are the cupcakes oh my god they were so amazing my cousin lives in uh the atlanta area and she makes cupcakes and listen those things were the bomb so this is my mom and my aunt holding on to my fiance i guess they're saying uh we ain't letting you get away. I don't know. <laughs> no, seriously. So um, this is a picture of them. And I thought that was so cute. So um, one thing that we did um, in the beginning, I did an icebreaker game. So basically, I took pictures that me and my fiance took at our engagement shoot. And I cut them in half. And I put one half in each envelope. And um, each person had to find their who has the other half of their picture and you got to get to know this person. You got to talk to them for at least five minutes. I didn't really want to make it awkward because some people just don't like to talk to people. They don't know or whatever. So I didn't want to make it too awkward because initially I wanted them to like sit beside that person, but I'm like, nah, let's not do that. So I'm just going to insert a clip of us um, or of them actually uh, finding that person. All right, so we are playing our icebreaker game. I have pictures. I cut them in half, and everybody has to find who has the other half of their picture. And they got to talk to them for at least five minutes. Get to know the person who has your picture. <laughs> that's my daddy. He can't find his other half. And that's my girl. That's right now. There's Uncle Nathan looking for his hat. And there's Mr. Lockett. All right. So we also did bingo. Um, guess that song bingo. And I got this idea from uh, one of my sister's friends at her bridal shower. So it's basically like just a regular bingo card and you have songs on there. So you'll play a snippet of the songs and they guess what song it is. That's how they get bingo. I had some little stickers that I have got from Hobby Lobby. That's how they marked their card and it was pretty fun. All right, so we are playing our icebreaker game. I have pictures. I cut them in half. And everybody has to find who has the other half of their picture. And they got to talk to them for at least five minutes. Get to know the person who has your picture. <laughs> that's my daddy. He can't find his other half. And that's my girl. That's right now. There's Uncle Nathan looking for his hat. And there's Mr. Lockett. All right, so we also did bingo, um, guess that song bingo, and I got this idea from uh, one of my sister's friends at her bridal shower. So it's basically like just a regular bingo card, and you have songs on there. So you'll play a snippet of the songs, and they guess what song it is. That's how they get bingo. I had some little stickers that I have got from Hobby Lobby. That's how they marked their card, and it was pretty fun. Now, y'all know black folks can't have no party without somebody playing spades. <laughs> so that's exactly what they're doing right here. 
So, this is a picture of my fiance and my son talking. I don't know who took this picture, but, um, and you can't really see my fiance face, but I mean, just, <laughs> I love this picture. Okay. So, he was definitely, definitely lit right here on this picture. <laughs> he was definitely, I was feeling pretty good too, but he was lit. So, um, the next two clips I'm going to show you is like, um, one of me and my family's like a ratchet all time ratchet songs. <laughs> so I'm gonna insert those clips next. all right so after two days of partying we ended the weekend at davis bridal so this is some of my family i have my sister with two of my sisters one of my sister's best friends my two of my do my two daughters my bonus daughter, two of my grandkids, my mom, my friend April, my aunt, and Nana, or aka Moretta. <laughs> so this is how we end up. Um, I did not, I don't plan on getting a dress from Davis Bridal, but I did want to go dress shopping, you know, just for the experience. So that is how my engagement party weekend turned out. I hope you guys like this video, and until next time, have a great one.